write the following uh, quadratics in vertex form. So vertex form, in case you are not familiar with it, is the form that looks like y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And it's a huge advantage to write equations in this form because you can find the vertex at h comma k. The vertex will always be located at h comma k. So let's try to apply that on the left here. We have f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 6x. So first stage to rewriting into vertex form is to factor out the coefficient from the x squared. So negative 3 gets pulled out in front, and we have x squared plus 2x. Okay, to complete the square, recall from a previous video that we have to take the coefficient to the linear term, the 2 here, take that 2, divide by 2, and then square it. We always take the number, divide it by 2, and square it. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so I fill in this blank by putting a plus 1. However, when I threw in the plus 1, because of the distributive property, I actually threw in a minus 3, right? Me writing plus 1 with the negative 3 out in front means I subtracted 3, so to compensate I have to add 3, and that means we would have negative 3, the part in the middle now is a, or in the parentheses, is a perfect square, it's x plus 1 squared, and then it's plus 3. So now I can look at these and get that my vertex must be located at negative 1, the opposite of this, comma 3. Let's do one example, one more example before you try one on your own. Over here we have x squared plus 6x plus 10, so let's go x squared plus 6x plus 10. The number that we wish to fill in the blank by completing the square would be 6 divided by 2 quantity squared. So of course 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So I wish to have a plus 9 right here. There's no number out in front so I can compensate for adding 9 by subtracting 9 because adding 9 and subtracting 9 cancel each other out. So in the parentheses we now have a perfect square namely x plus 3 squared and then at the end we have a 10 minus 9 which is a plus 1. So for this parabola, the vertex must be located at the opposite of this, which is negative 3, and the same as that, which is comma 1. So the vertex is at negative 3, comma 1. Okay, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do one on your own without the guide up there. Try to do 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. Okay, assuming you give it a good old shot here. The common number, or the coefficient to the x squared term is a 2, so I'm going to pull that out and get 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x, and then just leave the plus 6 back here. I need to figure out what I have to do to complete the square, so I'll take the number negative 2, divide by 2, and then square that amount. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, and negative, squared is, negative 1 squared is positive 1, so I'll plus 1. Now notice by writing plus 1 there, because the 2 that was factored out, I actually ended up adding 2. So to compensate, I'll subtract 2. And that means now we have the form 2 times a perfect square trinomial of x minus 1 squared, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So if somebody asked what the vertex of this would be, the opposite of minus 1 would be the 1, and then adding 4 gives me a 4, so our vertex is 1, comma, 4.